Hello and welcome. I am Regina McCann Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management, and thank you for joining our Women in Wealth series. I have a new friend today. Lauren, can you tell us who you are, what you do, and what you love about what you do? Good morning, Regina, and thank you for having me today. So I'm my so glad you're here. Thank you. My name is Lauren Simmons. I am a mom. I am a style blogger, and I'm also a full-time employee at a financial services company where I do uh, product strategy work for the product management team. Wow, that is very impressive. That's a full plate. That's a lot of things going on. So tell us a little bit more about your career in, and the fashion part of your world and, and how much, you know, what, what are your favorite parts about it? Okay. So during the day, um, as I mentioned, I work at a financial services company and I've been at the company about two and a half years. Um, what I love about the work is financial services um, is really relevant, especially during this crazy time. Um, prior to this, I was at a media company for quite a bit of time. So I'm still learning um, every day. <laughs> When I go into work, I'm learning something new. And again, it's particularly relevant to my life at this life stage um, because I've you know, been going through some personal changes. I recently became a homeowner and just, um, you know, just learning about everything that goes into finances and the, the, the different components. It's, it's just so relevant and timely for me. That's personally. awesome. Congratulations. That's a huge, huge accomplishment. Thank so you. Yeah. Um, so tell us with, you know, with your career path, what have been some of the challenges that you've experienced uh, being a professional woman? Um, for me, some of the challenges are um, just, I guess, learning the nuances to each of the industries that I've been involved in. So just pivoting from one industry to another, learning all of the terminology and the processes. But again, I feel um, as though anytime you have an opportunity to learn, it, it's just beneficial. Just yeah. um, so I have some knowledge about the media industry. Now I'm getting more immersed in the financial industry. So sometimes it is a little scary when you are learning something new, because for me, I like to appear competent and like I know what I'm talking about, but you have to be vulnerable when you're learning something new and just open to receiving new information. Um, another challenge has been just balancing the demands of working full time and motherhood. That's nothing new. I'm sure so many um, women and parents can relate to that. Oh, yes. So just trying to, you know, put as much effort into my family as I do um, professionally and vice versa. Yeah. And, and so with the pandemic, I, I know it's, it's hard, you know, being a working mom myself, I know how hard it is to balance career, family, and any me time, if I can find any. But mm -hmm. Pandemic, I think that's made it a lot harder for everyone. How, how have you adjusted with the pandemic and, and working with your family home life balance? So this notion of balance is something that I've struggled with even prior to the pandemic. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I've totally adjusted. <laughs> but some of the coping mechanisms that I've been using um, include the following. So... I, I have to just be a little um, patient with myself mm -hmm. and just understand that, you know what, this is uncharted territory. I don't think anyone I know has gone through anything like this. No. So it's impossible to hold ourselves to the standard where everything is going to be done perfectly. Like, yeah. There are times when I may be on a conference call and my daughter, I have a nine-year-old and she's, you know, being homeschooled. And sometimes she'll come to me with a question. So I'm, I have the phone on mute and I'm trying to, you know, multitask. I mean, I just try to do the best that I can do. And again, just understand that, okay, the idea of perfection is just something that's totally out the window. Out and, the window. Out yeah, the window. Yeah. And, and companies, I think, are being understanding and adaptable. They know that, you know, I think pretty much everyone's in the same boat. So yeah. people management and companies they've been really understanding so that's been helpful but it, it is a little difficult to try to um, do everything at one time absolutely and i'll share with you a term that someone shared with me because i'm i'm always striving i'm like perfection perfection you know i can't do it unless it's perfect um but um i have a new mantra that i've been trying to use and i'm sharing it with all my friends that are like me 
and it's, you know, it's just about progress, not perfection. And especially in this time, we have to give ourselves a wider berth. It's okay. We don't have to do everything. We can just do the best we can. And just knowing that everyone else is in the same boat, a lot of people have the same fears and anxiety um, and, and just wondering what's next type of thing. So uh, as women, we, we uh, I think, absorb a lot more of that stress, uh, yeah. but we just have to give ourselves a little bit of a, a break with that. Right. You know? right. So good job, good job. And my, my hat goes off to you, especially with a nine-year-old at, at home that's much more difficult than my, my age kids. They're, you know, I have two in high school and my youngest is in seventh grade. So they're not as, you know, they don't need as much from me as your nine-year-old daughter needs from you. And I'll tell you, the moms and dads that are, you know, homeschooling the younger kids, I have so much respect for you. It is so hard to work and, and teach your kids and, and do everything in this pandemic. So thank you for all that you're doing. Oh, well, thank you. That, that acknowledgement, is, it, it, it feels good. Sometimes I'm frustrated because I'm like, I'm not doing a good enough job. But I do have a 19-year-old son also who is helpful. So, you know, we're, we're just figuring it out. We're, we're just yeah. trying to lean on each other and, you know, make it work because, you know, a family is a partnership and we all have to do our part. That's great. Family is a partnership. I like that. I like that. So Lauren, tell us about the, your fashion side. Uh, I, I'm so admiring your fashionista spunk and want to hear a little bit more about that. Absolutely. So I've always loved style and fashion. And because I've worked in corporate America for the majority of my adult life, I've tried to find a way to marry the two. Um, you know, I try to look fashionable and stylish when I go to work every day because it just makes me feel better. Um, mm -hmm. I, I feel like there's a definite correlation between how you look and how you feel. So, you know, dressing, dressing up makes me feel better about myself. Um, a number of years ago, I started a style blog called The Fearless Fashionista, nice. just as a way to express myself to document my outfits and provide inspiration to other women who are interested in fashion. And then last year, I decided to compile some of the blog posts uh, that I included on the Fearless Fashionista, as well as um, things that I talk about in some of the style workshops that I do. So periodically, I will speak to groups of women or, um, you know, uh, mixed gender groups about fashion and style and how to pull yourself together. So it's just something that I, I really enjoy doing. That is so fun. And Lauren, what's the name of your book? The name of my book is Find Your Fabulous, The Fearless oh. Fashionista Approach to Developing and Owning Your Style. Oh, that's fabulous. What a fabulous title too. Great, great. Well, this has been absolutely fun and memorable. <laughs> Anything in a pandemic is definitely memorable. But thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you joining us on the Women in Wealth series and look forward to following you on your blog. Uh, so much great stuff. But, and I want to thank our audience uh, for joining us in the Women in Wealth series. And if you want to follow us a little bit more at Forge Wealth, uh, we are on Twitter and Facebook at Forge Wealth. And then LinkedIn will be Regina McCann Hess. And of course, our website is ForgeWealth.com. Thanks for thank joining us. So and have a great day. Bye, all. Thank you. Bye bye.